All right, we're on Hacker Replay 108. First match on Oregon. If you didn't notice, all of our matches today are ranked, which is one of the many reasons why I don't want to play ranked anymore. It is hacker infested. We have Soviet. How does he have just the name Soviet? That's actually insane. Who is accusing Thanos Scrotum. I'm actually even more shocked because I feel like based off of what I'm watching so far, this seems like a lower ranked lobby. So the fact that he has the name Soviet in a low ranked lobby is insane. Normally it's the high ranked players who really care and get it. That was an interesting angle. I do hope that they stop playing solos because I hate that the UI like bugs out like this where you can just see those all the time. They almost hit the Thatcher there, but other than that, they haven't really even like hit anyone. Jesus Christ, who's throwing 15 flashbangs, Maverick? Hmm. I don't know how they knew that someone was there other than maybe audio. Thatcher's heavy. He's a three armor, so possible they hurt him. I think he did see his hand stick out for like a second there. So they're just getting flashed to shit. Yeah, this doesn't seem like that low of a rank anymore. But one round in, he has two kills. Didn't really do anything that would cause immediate suspicion. But who knows, maybe he starts toggling. We literally had, the other day, we were playing unranked as a group. It was like me, Roy, Evan, and Kit. And Roy shotgun someone, so he toggled on and was just one-shotting us with the Nook shotgun from across the map. Like, every single time consistently, like, bro, got so upset over one death that he toggled immediately. Wasn't that suspicious? My ears are broken. He did shoot as soon as his crosshair was over Buck, so... I know this is like hyper-analyzation, but... I'm just pointing out, so... He always is constantly like, pre-firing, pre-aiming stuff. But then here, so they pre-aimed the wall. And then, as soon as Buck peeks, they finally are like, oh. Like, look around, like, okay, I won't peek, and then they go on their gadget. And pretend, or it's not pretending, but it's like, oh, what are the odds that the f one time someone would have been able to pre, or not pre-fire them, but when they gunfight against them, they don't peek, and then they start peeking again. And then here they happen to shoot just as Buck's body lines up, but he hits the door frame so he doesn't get any damage. And then Rook kills. Not saying they're cheating because of that, but just we'll keep that in mind. The other day I had a teammate die getting me up, so on my screen I was up, I still had the timer and on everyone else's I was still down but couldn't do damage, but they couldn't get me up anymore. Are you on PC? That is a cheat. I don't I didn't know that, that was still in the game, but it was a cheat uh like last season. It was a very popular one, because then you just make sure your teammates get down and then they can't do anything, and then you can just do whatever you want as a cheater. Uh, thanks for some Frank.
This round is gonna end really quickly. The recoil control was pretty bad there. I know that you'd be able to hear the blitz shield and movement, like if you're an okay player you can tell that pretty easily. And I see that someone's on cams. Oh Valkyrie, okay never mind. I was gonna say the entire time he's aiming so low like he's ready to shoot the feet of blitz, but if Valkyrie's on cams giving calls and pinging then it makes sense why you'd aim low. Be like, oh there's a blitz here, get ready to Get ready to shoot the feet. I think that's the first time their teammate's actually been on cams and given calls, so... Hmm. I feel like the moment there was a little weird, but... Just... Just a little strange. He looked away as they were running, so that's that's good for him. Makes me a little bit less suspicious. It still just seems overly confident and ready. I don't know if there was a cam in there. There might have been. Now we're on attack. This is usually where people pop off a lot more because they can be aggressive. He's seven and one in three rounds. That's pretty good. Never seen that angle before. I should start using that when people spawn peek. How do I get? There we go. So you can see Pulse's scanner, but I can't see anything else. They're getting pinged by IQ. Hold on. Oh, okay. They saw their foot. They still happen to like perfectly aim at the head level which would be tough from this angle aiming at stairs where you don't know exactly where their head's gonna be but so they aim at head level and then kill that one and then look over at pulse but you see him through the wall so they kill him nine kills in four rounds which is good. Also reactionary. Can hackers hack themselves into game lobbies? There or console lobbies, sorry. Uh there was a bug previously where PC and uh, Xbox could play together, but that was apparently a Xbox Game Pass bug and not a Siege bug, so that should be gone now. So he has 10 kills, and the closest person on their team is 3 and 4. Every single one of their teammates is negative. Thanos Scrotum is the only one keeping them in the game. But if it is a low level lobby, they do seem like a higher level player. Basically everyone's in basement. They happen to line up, I don't think that was them holding an angle on them specifically. Now he holds the flank, which is very rare for a cheater. It doesn't even, not just hold the flank, but drones the flank. Which by the way, neither of his teammates are watching that drone.
Okay. Round six, they lose this one. I think they're fine so far. They do seem like overly confident, always just ready, but it also feels like this lobby is a weird mishmash of ranks. Like some people seem really good and some people seem really bad. But it's also rank 2.0, right? Like rank 2.0 is fucking garbage. So we shouldn't be surprised if there is a mishmash of ranks. I wish I was this confident with Dokubi. I always miss all my shots and then die. If you're 12 and 2, why wouldn't you be confident? Yeah. <clears throat> like, again, it does seem like there's a skill disparity. Like we saw last round, I think it was Rook trying to aggro someone with a shotgun. So it's like, yeah, this isn't the greatest lobby, but they seem decent. He doesn't realize there's one... In Oh, never mind. I thought that person was in kitchen. It's always stuff like this, though, that makes me more hesit hesitant to believe that they're not cheating. That looks like... So I guess that was a drone, or maybe... Oh, Monty was pushing in. But, like, just runs through kitchen, doesn't really care about whether someone would be in there or not. I get it's kitchen on Oregon, so you can be pretty confident people aren't going to roam there, but, like... I feel like you should probably be a little cautious, right? And then, did they know that they were in Harry Potter? I'm sure they could probably hear that. But Monty seems unsure, and but Dokubi is already holding the angle on Harry Potter, which is the spot under the stairs. Why are they so confident? Oh, is their phone ringing? Yeah, okay, so we can't hear that, but they'd be able to hear the phone ringing. That makes sense. Oof. That is trying to kill the Fenrir. He's a champ in a bronze lobby. I mean, theoretically... Based off of what Ubisoft has said with rank 2.0, this should be impossible. But we also know rank 2.0 has been a complete failure, so... Wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. There's people with, like, copper background cards, but then there's people with flat background cards. And I know people who do... They just put copper background cards even though they are, like, a champ player, so... I don't know. This could be like gold to plat, and maybe he's like an emerald slash diamond player who just got into a slightly lower level lobby. But it's definitely not like champ versing coppers. He did do like a weird stare there where instead of hopping on cams or like trying to listen for audio, they just do a scan and then they just kind of sit here looking like. I don't know what the looking accomplishes, but I'm sure I've done stuff like that that looks suspicious because I'm just standing there staring at a wall. I mean, I'm just trying to get better audio. I don't know. Or maybe they were watching their flank in case someone happened to push up as they were about to run out. Uh -huh. Also, just noticed that the blue team banned Glaz. It's a, quite the questionable ban. Ooh, Soviet on a tear. They don't have Diffuser, I guess. Hmm. Did you notice that? Or they were holding the, like, far right of the hole, but then as they push up, they just so happen to aim towards the Yana. Like, what, what, what was that? And then... Seize their arm for, like... I don't know, how, how fast would that be in real time? That'd be a really fast reaction, I think. 
Uh, it wasn't that fast. That was like a weird look back, I don't know. It looks like he has some type of walls. But like, not super obvious. 18 kills, by the way. So you'd be able to hear that glass break on armory, so it's fair to say that they'd be cautious if someone spawn peeking this. But then they also aim right at the person and miss the window. I'm not saying that they're walling for sure, but it happens to be a coincidence to line up after we've had some slight suspicions of them. The way as the oryx would have been visible to him. Like stuff like that makes me feel like he must be finally again looked away as the oryx is about to be on his screen. At the very least, is not being like a super obvious hold an angle until they peek type of person. But I also feel like they they have been doing some weird staring at walls. Pre-play C4. That was a pre-place. Actually, it might have just been thrown from trophy door. So our, like the one teammate just walked past the pre-place and didn't shoot it. We'll look at uh, some of the people in this match and just get an idea of what the ranks are like. <clears throat> and then make a decision at the end. I would say, at the very least, not an obvious cheater. Could be an incredibly subtle one, but doesn't really seem too likely. That is the first time that they've really droned. Normally, they just kind of walk in and assume everything is safe. Okay, 1v2. But we know he wins because it's the last round. Reaction. Knows where they are because they killed the person. Yeah, I, mean, I would say from what I saw wasn't crazy obvious. So. Thanos Scrotum. They are a champ player, which we kind of assumed that they would be a high rank. They went... Plot, plot, diamond, no rank, champ. With a 2.18 KD. A 2.18 KD in champ is very, very high. Like, I th I'm pretty sure only some of the best players in Siege have that. Like, isn't... I don't do, 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 like, the pros like Spoit even have it? I don't know. Spoit dot... What is it? I'm assuming M80. So he has a higher... Or he had a higher KD than Spoit. But that lobby also did not feel like a champ lobby, right? Oh, it was actually this lo the last match he played. So his team, let's just get like their all-time highs. Uh, Diamond 5, champ, gold, plat. Okay. And then the enemy team, diamond, diamond, emerald, plat, plat. Definitely a lower MMR lobby than he should be facing. I have very rarely had matches that were anything other than just all champs and diamonds. Let's see. This is a tough one. I don't know how a gold got in here. Gold with a negative KD. One second. Now, now I want to deep dive a little bit. So on the same day, they played twice together. These two matches, Glizzy Gobbler and Kairu were consistent in both of them. So, and Glizzy Gobbler, if I'm not mistaken, was, yeah, Diamond. So, okay, my theory here, they got their friend Kairu to join them, who is a gold, so that they could get a slightly easier lobby, which is why they can, like, kind of shred Emerald players, because they're champs. 
he, I will say, did not consistently play with them because the same day they were not with them. But yeah, I'm guessing they queued with them because being in two matches together with a gold is way too coincidental. Or way too, like, you know, that can't be a coincidence. That has to be them queuing together. So I made my decision. I don't think they're cheating. I think they just intentionally queued with a lower ranked player to get easier lobbies and inflate their KD. Done. First match. Now the second match, I believe, is the clubhouse one. Is the same thing, where someone drops 20 plus kills. And now I want to see... If this one's obvious, I'd be like, okay, you know. Is 20 kills just by default suspicious? Yes or no? Probably no. But anyways, in this match we have... V Vasilie, v Vasilie, yeah, accusing Ku. Are they just trolling their team? I feel like this one may be a little bit more suspicious than the last one. It's us, I agree. I mean, you could maybe hear them, but... Again, you could maybe hear them. The, the castle took a hit, but I'm already gonna guess that they're probably cheating in this one. There's a difference between like lining them up and then just hearing them. They also have glacier, which is usually a pretty big indicator that someone's cheating, because that means that they bought a really old account and then start cheating on it, because the old accounts are super cheap. You can buy a siege account with Glacier on it for like five bucks, probably even less. Mm. Oh, they're not a fan of their teammate. They got their other teammate killed. And then they pre-fired this Tachanka. Hmm. Hmm. So I think they're cheating. They also just lined up the uh, Yana there. We're not lined up, but we're kind of following her. Don't you mean fuse? What did I say? Did I not say fuse? I can't remember what I said two seconds ago. Yeah, I'm gonna guess cheating here. Uh, we'll look up their account in a minute. They did submit the real name of the account. And they have like their TikTok name on there or whatever. And then I looked up their account. I was like, I wonder if they're just like one of those blatant... You know, look at me cheating in Siege TikTokers, but they're not. Or at least I'd, I watched 10 seconds of one clip and just clicked away. But I'm going to guess that they're probably trying to play it off like, Oh my god, I'm so good. Look at my TikTok. I said Tachanka. My bad. Tachanka, Fuse, same thing. I'm pretty certain they're cheating, right? Like, I, I don't think there's any uncertainty here. I know some of you might be like, well, it's so obvious that they're cheating. Why is he still looking for more? I've been getting so many fucking comments on, like, YouTube, TikTok, every platform being like, you just say everyone's cheating without giving them a fair chance. I'm like, all right, I'll watch more of it. But it's usually fairly obvious enough that I don't have to. Hasn't droned in anything. Is checking every corner though. Actually, no, only checking the corners that matter because someone could be hiding in pool table or bathroom and didn't really check that. 
What are they looking at? Oh, disconnecting. They're back. Oh, well, there it is. If I'm not mistaken, they didn't see Thunderbird at all there. Uh, you could say they saw their foot, but they just tried to shoot him through the wall. Both times. Uh. I'm dead to the rest of the team. I'm gonna say cheating. Oh, they already got banned. Banned for cheating. They had a 3.36 KD. 500. They played 670 ish matches of casual this season and only played 60 ranked matches. And they had a negative KD in casual. So either they just stole this account from someone who already was playing and then just started cheating on it, or they were so bad in casual that they're like, fuck it, I need to download cheats so that I can actually do well in ranked. But okay. So, two games with 20 plus kills each, one cheater, one not cheater. This is a match from Porcupine54, who's accusing Trenzy TM. Okay, so spent the entire prep phase on drone AFK, and is running IQ552 Commando, probably a cheater. Actually, what? They're using their gadget. Oh, this is the match that someone was talking about, or that they they'd said in the file. They're like, this person has an insanely high DPI. You can tell they're just like flicking everywhere. They're even trying to just move a little bit is a massive flick. They can't aim or shit. I wonder if they're using super high DPI to try to hide the fact that they're cheating. Also, probably maybe boosting because what did I just see here? Boy was about to use a thermite on the castle and then stopped until IQ told him not to. Oh, that's smart. Put barbed wire there so it gets electrified by the Kaid call. Kind of a waste, but also kind of smart. Wait, do they have a zero recoil chant? Even their pistol's not moving at all. I think they have a completely zero recoil chant. I just kind of want to see a bit more because they only got one kill. God, the, f the flicks are hurting my brain. why they're doing this like are they trying to look less suspicious by having high dpi so they're just like constantly flicking around it doesn't i don't think anyone would fall for that i don't think anyone would be like oh yeah they're not cheating pretty sure they have a zero recoil cheat as well it's hard to tell what the fucking flicking Terrible aim. It is weird that when they're running around, it looks like their sensitivity is just 10,000. They're just going to the moon. But then when they are actually shooting, all of a sudden the sensitivity looks normal. Wait, they're not banned. They only have a 1.09 KD. Fuck, now we gotta watch more. I, I'm i so certain that they are cheating, but I also don't want to watch more because I get like a headache watching them flick around like that. Actually, I probably should watch, uh, if I can watch one defense round where they have a high recoil gun and it has zero movement on recoil. That would be good proof. It's hard to tell. As, there's zero movement in that gun recoil. 
Like, the only movement in the gun is his movement. The shots don't make any movement at all. He has to be cheating. Oh, there's finally some movement on the gun. But with how high his sensitivity is, literally just like the tiniest micro movement would cause that stutter. Also, I'm pretty sure he got a headshot when aiming at the person's stomach, so. Let's watch this again. Uh, he's not even aiming at them, so I'm going to assume that's a pink headshot. My god, the spam aim down sight. Very little recoil change on that gun until the very end. It's supposed to be severely more impacted than that. I, I don't know. He has to be cheating. There's no way this is a normal player. I understand that kids nowadays are like, you know, ADD simulator where they are constantly flicking and moving just for the sake of moving because their ADD brains can't do anything else. But like, there's no way this is a legitimate player trying to play. The aim on Jaeger did look a little weird there. It almost looked like it locked on. I'm gonna say cheating. I just I, I can't watch any more of this. This is it hurts to watch. I'm I'm confident enough to say that they were cheating. There's no way that's like a normal player. I just I refuse to believe it. Match number four. It's gonna be an outback. In this match we have Jay Caldera, who is going to be accusing uh, Shyco W or YWE. God, I hate having vigils in the game now because the match replay bugs out and shows the vigil thing the entire time. Their aim and movement seems bot-like so far. They're aiming at the top of doorways instead of at head height. But yet they have the, yeah, I guess, aggressive choice to go Warden because they have the 1.5. God, that Vigil fucking sound, bro. Chat, never run Vigil. It's so annoying when I have to watch it back. Oh, he's cheating. He has the recoil cheat. 100% cheating. Don't need to watch uh, any more rounds after this one. So his gun's about to hit the ceiling, but he's going to get the kill. He didn't get the kill, but he got the hit, so... 100% cheating. Let's see if they are banned. Uh, they have a 2.18 KD in ranked. 3.45 in casual, and they are not banned. Shocker. I assume they won this match. Yes, they won. And he didn't get that many kills, only 8. Someone on the enemy team got more kills, and I assume they're legitimate, so... But, recoil cheats... 100%. Alright, match number 4 done. Now, match number 5 is... Border. And in this match, we have CJ... Mex? Mechus? Who's accusing, I'm so good. Can you explain botting? Botting in what sense? Botting is a very generic term. In Siege, botting, I assume that's what you're talking about, is when you just get an account or like something that will just basically make your game run and your character will just stand there like crouching up and down over and over again. Just to stay in game and get like free XP and packs and stuff. 
For someone who's named I'm So Good, they don't seem so good. Just throwing that out there. Their aim is terrible, but somehow they know where everyone is. He tried to team kill so that he could get the last kill. His aim is so bad. This is an eight round match? I think they're cheating already. I don't think there's any way that would be a legitimate play, what they just did. Refire nothing. Dude, his aim is so bad. He already used the pop his ammo. Two magazines left. Let me just make sure that when Ace dies, it is the right person. Because when someone's in the top right, I get suspicious that they just submit themselves, but I didn't hear the, the sound effect that I'm looking for when um, when my died, so I think we're good. I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, we'll watch a little bit more, but I'm pretty sure they're cheating. They're trying to look cool by, like, quick leaning and pre firing, but they're aiming at, like, stomach height and missing half their shots. <laughs> they keep hitting the door frame. Can't hit a drone either. they looking? Are they trying to be less suspicious? It looked like they tried to do that. They'd be like, oh, I'm impacting this wall. Like, let's see if anyone's behind it. But it seemed like they knew that Yana was behind it. Granted, Yana just pushed in and got into a fight with someone, but... I don't think there's any way they're not cheating. The issue though is I don't know, I don't think I have their real name, so I can't see their stats to back it up other than they are 7 and 1 in this match. Oh, they died. Let's see what he does on attack. Usually cheating is way more obvious. Actually, I think I say that for both sides. I, I'm pretty sure I've said it before that's way more obvious on defense, but. On attack, I feel like it can be the most obvious because people will push in without ever droning, without ever checking anything, and they'll be like, yep, yeah, someone's over here, and ju they'll just wait and hold. But you could say the same thing about defense, because sometimes people just, like, they go exactly where the attackers are about to push and wait for them. Seems like he's just tracking the guy through the floor. Yeah, Thorn didn't even move, and he just adjusted the grenade to hit Thorn. No one their team is droning or pinging, so yeah, they're cheating. Fairly certain they're cheating. Um, this was ranked. One of these two, probably. I'm so good. Their name is Jinx FPS. They have a 1.8 2kd not crazy high but they used to be a silver with a 0 0.5 and now they're a plat with a 1.2 hmm what are the odds that they just came back after one two three four five seasons off and doubled their kd you could argue like well they only had 22 matches or 11 matches but this rank system would have been easier for them than this one i think i'm like 90 percent sure they're cheating enough that i don't feel the need to watch the rest of the match all right, now our last match for today, I believe, is this Oregon one. It is. Has a four sack, if you can tell. Uh, and one of them being accused is I Love Tits. Retweet. And it's Vexy. Wait. Oh, never mind. Other way around. Their name is I Love Tits. And they're accusing Vexy.
think just doing this alone has basically been the same level of droning that the entire rest of the five matches have done. I was honestly expecting a nade through the floor. You'd be able to hear Frost shooting in here, which is why they're, yeah, instead of shooting the camera, they're waiting. Oh, that's a mirror right there, although we can see through it. I was going to say, is he standing on top of this? Makes sense they would know Doc is there because Doc just shot at the Maverick, I believe. Okay, so four kills in the first round, but nothing stood out to me. Oh, one person's in tower. Will they know? Also, chat after this. Uh, round I'm gonna have to, or match I'm gonna have to go make myself lunch and he is gone today unfortunately so I have to fend for myself do you think they can see the gun sticking out through that do we think do we think that the gun sticking or the barrel sticking through like it does here is accurate because like it is siege right it is siege I assume that is probably what caused the initial report like how did they know Sanity. You know, I think would be a good nerf for Yana. I'm just spitballing here, but chat, let me know if you agree. Yay or nay. Uh, great nerf for Yana since she is the most picked attacker in the game right now. Her Yana clones should be able to be taken over by Mozzie pests. So if Mozzie has a pest and the clone runs into it, the spider jumps on the Yana's face and then takes it over. No, no, no. You guys are crazy. Great nerf. And on top of that, when Mozzie takes over Yana's clone, the clone should be able to start knifing. Not shooting, because that'd be crazy. But if you if you can start knifing, then you send the clone back and they're like, oh, wow, Yana's bringing the clone back for some reason. Knife, 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 knife. 10 out of 10 idea. The people in chat who said nay are just... Uh, they're afraid of change. I'm gonna tweet that later. I'm sure Twitter will love it. Or sorry, X. The worst fucking name for a social media platform in the world. They did see the thorn and they were trying to pre fire there after. B dubs losing both shields and their dignity now leaves. That is a very demoralizing situation when you lose both your shields before you can do anything. Varsity's first L, cannot lie. I come up with great ideas. People are just too afraid of change. Like, why would we want that to happen when we could just run in as an Ash, Sledge, Yana combo every round and nothing ever changes in Siege? Yay, that's fun. 
Also, they banned a Rooney on defense. I'm just throwing that out there. Orange team. Wait, what? They nated themselves? Ow. Flomo. Oh, it hid that and then bounced down immediately on the Yana. Oh, they actually got the headshot there. The wall is now back to how it was before for some reason, even though all I did was rewind. That is a bold spot to send out a Yana clone in. We're 15 seconds in, three kills already. Let's go. This is Siege. Hmm. They're about to go up the stairs and then stop themselves for some reason. Probably. I guess not confident after hearing the enemy team above them. But they seem like a confident player, so I don't know why they wouldn't contest that. Maybe they're afraid they would give a call out and be like, yeah, they're flanking you, watch out. That's a reaction and death. I think this person's fine. They did already report Vexy, which is, I assume, why they're going Osa. And Monty. Are doing a full five man rush down freezer stairs. And Vex is still looking towards tower or small tower in case someone's over there. Oh, I hate Osa. Just shoot through the side panels. They just dismantled their rush. And that there was a team kill there somehow. The only reason I said that I'm surprised they didn't just take the fight is because they seem like they're a better player than the enemy team. And if I'm like at eight kills at that point, I'd be like, I'm feeling myself. Like I'm gonna fucking swing them. Especially after already like approaching the stairs and then stopping to turn around and come back. It just seems odd, but it's not anything crazy. I assume this person's more legit than non-legit, so I think they'll be fine. A lot of their plays have been reactions or off, like, sounds, so I think they're fine. I don't assu I assume this is not their actual name, Vexy, whatever, but I'll look it up just in case. Oh, maybe it is their real name. This is a ranked match the other day where they went 10 and 4. Actually, I think it was from today, or, like, it would be bundled with today, so it's somewhere in here. Um, they are a plat player with a 1.6 KD, previously gold with a 1.2 to 1.4, and then plat like 1.1-ish to 1.4. I think they're fine. I did not see anything that I would deem suspicious. Legitimate player, as far as I can tell. Uh, so yeah, that's it for Hacker Replay 108. We had how many cheaters? One, two, three... Four cheaters today, and two not cheaters. Not terrible.